We have the Wild Willys Car Show, the Showdown, Battle of the Builds, Mile to Wild. You got to bring the F-150 Covert, August 20th from 9 to 2. Uh, I know you know Jesse. I got Jesse here waiting on me. But uh, we'll see you on the 20th. Peace out. Cash money. You ready to film the baddest Super Duty we've ever done? Nick from Nashville? Yes, sir. I am so pumped. Hey, I'm even ready. Bye, gosh. Let's, Let's go. go. Cash money. He's excited about this one, y'all. He's a bad boy. Woo -hoo -hoo. We got to trick us out of golf cart, though. Peace out. This is not the truck we're reviewing, but we just finished this for Georgia's tight end coach, Coach Hartley, Covert Edition on them forces. My guys, right here. What's up? What's up? Maddie took do? care of it. What makes the E-Venture so special, Jesse's showing you now. Here on your E-Click, you can adjust different settings based on rock, off-road, or highway for the best optimized ride quality. Riding in, Nick from Nashville's amazing, look at this Marsala interior. This truck's so legit and unique in so many ways. Jesse, Jesse just can't stop smiling. Jesse's ready, y'all. Love, love it. An incredible truck with the E-Venture. First ever time implementing this suspension system is incredible. It is so adaptive and customizable. Look at that Marsala, y'all. Nick is gonna love this. Jesse is amazed by the JMS Pedal Max. He's like, this thing makes you feel like you got a lot more power from the get-go. It's just a throttle lag alleviator. Yeah. <laughs> Puts you in your seat type action. What do you think about that, Jesse? That's wild. Wow. So we got full use of auxiliary switches up top. We got train horn on a separate switch on the side. Ooh. <laughs> Hit him one time. <laughs> the one thing at Aikens we love to do is mess with people with the train horn. What's going on guys? Jesse Cash at Aikens Ford and Wild Willys. Probably the baddest 250 we've ever done. It's only right we did it for the coolest customer. A customer of mine, Nick Williams, Georgia boy at heart, lives in Nashville now. Uh, he contacted me one day in the winter and just wanted to start the process on ordering a 250 and then having Neil uh, do all these accessories. Like I said, one of the baddest trucks we've ever done. <laughs> what up, dog? What you think? What you think? It's hot. Y'all, I'm sweating this. It's hot. I'm, I'm amped. I had to get my mind right. I had to do a little, a few laps around here <laughs> to get right. A few push-ups. Jesse's got the belt because. It's a home run. It's the baddest, y'all. I mean, there's been truck. multiples that come through here. So if you're in the past and you've had the belt, you earned it. But Nick, Nick holds the title now. Nick might have to take this home with Nick him. Nick might have to take it home. It. Nick's a Georgia boy, even he though he's is. in Nashville. Uh, as we mentioned, we got to come see Nick and show you guys more off-road capability of this. Without a doubt. It's a very special truck with a very special kit, the baddest kit we've ever done. You ready to review this thing? For sure. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesse and I was about to review oh, this and my boy dude. Yappy done showed up. That's messed up. He done hey, hit the train hey, horn the train. one time. <laughs> hey, this thing is BA, man. You like it? It's nice. Yeah. You gonna get you one? A little yappy style right here. That's right. Oh, I can't afford this boy. <laughs> oh, what's yappy been doing this summer? Summertime is time for diving, getting out there in the water, nasty stuff. But uh, we haven't played golf a single time. I know. We should all play golf. Let's go play. We should all play golf. Maybe a little podcast action. That would be a little, little bet. A little bet. Maybe a little, little truck bet. 
<laughs> if your boy Real Deal didn't bring the heat on this one, I wouldn't be the real deal. You know, it's like Michael Jordan, he played every single game. You knew if you were a nine-year-old kid going to watch Michael Jordan play that you were going to get the best version of Michael Jordan every single time because he knew that maybe the only time that kid gets to watch him play. So this may be the first time you're checking uh, Real Deal and Wild Wings and Aikens and Jesse Cash out. So we bring in the heat, literally, y'all. It's like 100 degrees out here. But the thing that's hot is this diamond <laughs> right here. A 2022 Aikens Ford F-250 Platinum Everest Edition. We are five and a half inches lifted. This is the Carly E-Venture suspension lift kit. They call it the four and a half if it's older than a 20 model. The 2020 model and above, they made the truck a little bit lower from the factory. So this is actually a five and a half inch kit. But you, if you look on their website, you may see four and a half slash five and a half, five and a half. And most run 37s, but you know my man Nick and Real Deal had to roll with a little bit bigger. So we're on 38s and 22s. We got the four play wheels, which is immaculate to me, the perfect wheel for this. Nick picked this wheel out, my man. And we're on 38, 13 and a half, 22. Nothing else, the 38s and the 22s gets me fired up. Carly E-Venture kit is unbelievable. Unlike your average lift, it uses custom tuned shocks. Each shock goes through months of testing and is specifically tuned for this application. The travel is immaculate with 10.25 inches up front in overall travel and 13 inches of travel in the rear. So, you know your boy's real big about the Raptors. The Raptor, the Gen 3 Raptor, has 14 inches of travel in the front and 14 in the rear. Well, this has 13 inches of travel out back and 10 in the front. So we're then four inches up front and within one inch in the rear is overall suspension capability. So this is the baddest truck because overall capability is a Raptor with a Super Duty engine with a towing capacity of the heavy duty truck from Ford. This truck is the baddest. This might be the baddest truck I've ever seen. I mean, it might just be the baddest specifically because the pin top's been so popular to us, but the E-Venture now is an electronically controlled and mitigated shock package that is truly adaptive. So what I mean by that is, this is the future of the HD truck suspension, y'all. Carly spent months developing this, and it's the valving shock package that's responsive and constantly adapts to the terrain for the smoothest ride. There's an onboard computer and an algorithm, which if you know TikTok, alg algorithms are super complex. It constantly adjusts the shock hundreds of times per second. So much like the Raptor, as I mentioned, Carly has pre-programmed presets, which I showed you earlier, highway rock and high-speed off-roading. There's a sensor mounted on top of the engine to determine the vehicle pitch roll, as well as the sensors in the OBD2 port to read the truck speed, uh, brake pedal position, accelerator position, steering wheel rotation, etc. Truly amazing, y'all. That's why this is the baddest. Uh, the dampening is variable in any setting, I mean, it, basically it can take small chatter or detect a large, huge impact. So say driving this bad boy off-road or on-road and you come over a railroad track, it's going to have that nice, ample, smooth ride quality, but also you hit that railroad track, it's going to absorb that abrupt shock with ease. So I love the adjustability inside the vehicle. Truly epic. Jesse's on the phone. Nick just called us to check on it. He's on his way here in an hour, and he is amped up too, y'all. He is going to absolutely love this truck we've been look we've been filming already for like an hour the progressive leaf pack you can get a add a pack but the progressive leaf pack is the best overall ride quality a 15 percent reduction in towing but nick's not going to tow a lot with this he wants the best ride quality available so this will eliminate a lot of that chatter that you feel on a solid live axle going over those railroad tracks or imperfections in the road the four play wheel is immaculate the mbrp exhaust dpf back black tip all the way back immaculate Jesse, show them the car, the E-Venture shock package out back. Amazing, adapting to every condition that you could throw at it. We haven't even talked about the paint, y'all. Usually we go paint first. There's so much paint, which we're going to get to. But up front, Carly Radius Arms, uh, hand fabricated in the U United States. Has a little notch cut out right here, as you can see, for extra tire clear clearance. So we've got no issues with the 38s there. The torsion sway bar may be one of the best upgrades on this kit. Hard to imagine. But the torsion sway bar found up front uh, gives us a little more leniency compared to the factory sway bar. Make this work more more of an independent front end rather than a solid live axle like it is. So the torsion sway bar gives you added overall ride quality and comfort, which is a legit setup. 
the eVenture with all the all the goodies is what Nick has on this bad truck, y'all. Now let's talk about paint work. Let's start up front with custom paint galore. So this was a chrome and brushed aluminum truck overall. So the front grill was that brushed aluminum with chrome, did carbonized throughout with a, a gate black and carbonized in up front. The Baja Designs linkable kit up front. These come white where it says the Baja Designs logo. Did those to match as well. Truly incredible. Did the worn winch behind the factory bumper, which is so legit, y'all. Uh, took the tow, the tow hooks to black. Did the Baja Designs fog light kit, which is amazing. This is a street legal rendition and a driving combo there. Inside the headlights was all chrome and black. Did a, a combination of carbonized and black throughout. Looks amazing. It flows uh, truly special. This long pesky valence we got rid of in lieu of a custom one that we did carbonized gray to that added detail that makes Wild Willie's legit down the side. Side badges as well, carbonized. This is probably Jesse's favorite part, right Jesse? Oh yeah, this is for sure my favorite So we part. took the color of the four play wheel, that brushed aluminum look, it's not the carbonized, and added that on this side badge here. Looks amazing. So you got carbonized with the four play wheel color for the 250. That's why it's the baddest. The 6.7 liter, the wheel finish as well, is the Power Stroke Turbo Diesel side badge there. Truly epic. You know, I love taking the texture away out of these mirrors, so did carbonize throughout, smoke the black out on the side. The part that you look at here is now carbonized as well. So this truck now is what it should be at Wild Is It Aikens. We show you how things should be, y'all, on the daily. These door handles were, were chrome, did uh, carbonized, wrap this top portion, as well as the, the chrome running board on the bottom, black. While we're here, that Marsala interior we've been talking about, looking so legit, I'm glad it's not black. It gives a nice variation. E-Venture system, <clears throat> fully customizable. Uh, and very adaptive and intuitive, easy to use. Uh, there's your onboard sensor up top. We have an AFE cold air intake because we want more air coming in and more air going out. So we got exhaust and intake. This thing has 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. 1,000, over 1,000 pound-feet of torque. Say this, one more time, they didn't hear you. 1,050 pound-feet of torque, let's go! I'm telling y'all, this truck is so incredible, y'all. This truck is legit. So I wanna see someone else try and top this, but let's do a different color. We got more power, we have warranty power, nothing that's gonna avoid warranty, just a DPF back exhaust, cold air intake, that JMS Pedal Max. Jesse loved that, the responsiveness of that bad boy. Five and a half inches lifted, 38s, 22s, I mean, what more do you want? A little bit of America. So we got American flag here on the side. You may ask, why are the stars facing forward? The stars are always facing forward because we're always progressing, y'all. We're not looking behind us. The stars are always facing forward, by gosh. Out back, we've got a money set up. I love the contrast. Sometimes we do all body color here. I like the contrast. You're coming down the road, you know something special about this truck. It's a big black applique on the back, something special about this truck. We have the four play uh, wheel color on the platinum and Super Duty logo, uh, a gate black on the applique. Remove texture on this part here, did a gate black right there, a gate black to match up on your third brake light. Nick wanted black tail, so I said let's flow it through there have a, a gate black going through, a light smoke there, carbonized perimeter, so legit. I can't get over how bad this truck is. I just can't get over it. Rigid SRQ rear reverse lights in carbonized. I need to throw a shout out to all of our guys at the shop. I don't talk about them enough. Y'all don't see me turning wrenches, y'all. It's our guys. This took a lot of manpower hours, hours, over 15 hours just in this train horn I'm about to show you. And the kit took about 20 hours. So uh, Caleb and all of our staff, Austin, our painter, everybody did a great job. Johnny, uh, so many people, I hate missing the names because I'm miss somebody. All of our guys up at the shop killed this build, y'all. Great job, fellas. We have a Carly Trophy hits going in soon. So we have a fifth tire for him. And we actually did his compressor and horn blaster kit up underneath there to make room for that uh, trophy hitch coming soon. And our train horns are up underneath, uh, tucked away ever so nicely. At Aikens Liner, guaranteed for life. You know, we just love that booty. And this one is so incredible. Oh my gosh, I wanna, I wanna get rid of my Raptor, y'all. This is, this, is this is amazing. Jesse, show them the bank's rear diff cover. The bank's diff cover, we uh, did a little surprise, upgraded Nick. This one is about $400 more than the Mag High Tech, but it has a better overall 
airflow to it to where these the fluids inside are supposed to stay at a better temperature because of the design of that bank's diff covers. America go, going on truly epic. We got rigid rock lights, so now I want to turn all the lights on and showcase all the brightness. The Baja Designs linkable lights, you got seven of those bad boys. They put out a, a lot of light. There's your fog light kit on different switches there. Looking amazing. The DRL looking amazing. You got adequate ample lighting for whatever your needs are, but besides that, it just looks truly incredible. Also the Carly low mount as well as high mount steering stabilizer. We want to put them both on there for just added overall integrity with the 38 inch uh, aggressive setup, negative 24 on the offset. So mild to wild scale, we're sticking out a good four, four and a half inches. So it is on the mid to high level range, but it matches the aesthetics of the height of this truck perfect. something about the customers that we get here y'all amazing customers y'all just like nick williams from nashville slash georgia nick we greatly appreciate it the only thing i think we forgot was the bed cover out back stubby antenna as well y'all probably other stuff we forgot this truck has it all but the biggest main point is five and a half inches lifted on the baddest suspension you'll find on a super duty and jesse's got to be your guy for everything auto here at aiken y'all jesse what you got thank you so much for let me sell you the baddest truck in the world. And we got to come see you. We say it all the time that we're going to go see our customers because they're everywhere, y'all. But Nick's the type of guy that Jesse and I can hang with. Oh, so yeah, we sure. got to make that happen. So Nick, let's arrange that. Take this thing off road a little bit and show it what it can do. But for real deal and Jesse, peace out. Peace out, y'all.